Alright, welcome back to another episode of Nightingale. So, today's episode, we're going to go for the Elder Jotunheart, and we're going to talk to Wilhelmine Assassin to find an expert to progress with that quest. Ah, you again. Always a pleasure. Hoping you make a trade, or are you just here to talk? I'm sure there's plenty in your past I'd love to hear about. Heard any rumors lately? Always. Something peculiar you're looking for. I need to find a particular person. Do you know anyone knowledgeable about realm spirits? And what you need that for? Hmm. Visit an antiquarian swap and you can thank me later. There's a quiet commotion coming out of that realm. Tales of ritual sacrifices to a vengeful fae. There are more than a few casualties, but I hear your expert, a woman called Ludivine St. Clair, li yet lives. Interesting. Alright, so I need to head towards the Swamp at Aquarium Realm, so we shall meet back at my respite. And again, spawn underneath the planet. Oh, that gave me a bunch of health back. Alright. So we need a Swamp and Aquarium card, so we got... Set portal here, swamp, antiquarian. Hard is only at 40? Sure, we'll do hard. Alright, once we get to the antiquarian realm, uh, where do we got here? There we go. Uh, we need to find Ludovine, an elder spirit expert that could help me gain an elder Eaton heart. Alright. I guess where they appeared in forest areas, but maybe they'll appear in swamp areas too. Who knows? Well, we waited to get the portal done. Is there anything uh, inventory-wise that I need to do? Yeah, I got a bunch of this random stuff every now and then. Well, let's see if we can just uh, throw that in some junk piles here. Oh, I actually need to keep that code paper on me. Oh, it sounds like it uh, went up. Alright. When we get done with this quest line, I sh should be able to turn it into Nellie Bly, and we'll do that. It looks like there was a dungeon behind her. Clear that out and go to the uh, the watch. Oh, what we got here? Oh, what of a St. Clair, not that far away. Oh, we passed her. Oh, oh, bless your beating heart. Realm Walker, I'm afraid this is an ugly fuss you've come across, but I'm grateful someone finally bobbed up. Halfa, what ails this poor soul? 
This brave soul teeters beyond two worlds. A curse plagues them, turning their bodies into a frail husk. My other guides all curse right in two, wiltered like flowers in but a few days. I haven't had a moment to leave their side, and you're the first to stumble upon us. Neither a doctor nor a priest, but say the word and I'll lend my hand. Hmm. Could it be? Yes, yes. The augury anticipated your arrival. I shouldn't have seen you for what you are as soon as you approach. Well, I assure you I'm more capable than I looked. Are you in need of my assistance or not? Uh, before all this trouble, the low here, spirits as you know them, they foretold in my fevered dream that a traveler would cross our path. Their guided whispers said a lost wanderer will mend wounds, fill their brains with communion meat. Sounds ominous, but it could be me. It's settled then. Lend your aid to us now, and I'll do whatever in my talents to guide you on whatever path you're on. First things first, these realm walkers are in desperate need of healing. I haven't been able to forge for the elixir ingredients. If this realm walker doesn't imbibe something stronger than these potions soon, the water of the other side will wait him. I'll make what remedies I can. Go on then, you've got my eternal gratitude, wanderer. If there were ever a time for haste, I'd mark it here and now. I'll be waiting. Name's Ludovine, in case you need to holler. Our turn with the remedies. So I need three slight curative potions. Go away. She's getting hit in the face there. Uh, anyway, she has a nice mission. Why you got an exclamation mark above your head? Do I already have three of the... No, I don't. Alright, so I need to acquire three slight cure to potions. If I didn't, you know, just drink all of them in my last fight that we had. Uh, let's see what we need for cure to potions. So we need the refined alchemy boiler. I got that, or the simple alchemy boiler. Uh, we need tier one swamp fiber, hide, glass, essence dust. All right, let's just uh, start farming that up here, then, real quick. to actually make that uh yeah there we go to our building augmentation unless you can go away I need uh basics Block me boiler, need three ore, three twine, four lumber. Ooh, it might actually be faster just to head back home and craft three of these. Based on that. But anyway, um before we do before we go on to that. Let's go back to our crafting, uh so cure to potion. Let's make sure that we have all the stuff we need. We, Need hide, glass, essence dust. We got plenty of essence dust. The swamp fiber is only a one. So we should have that. So I'll uh, teleport back in between cuts and then we'll come back with the potions. All right, and we're back with the uh, curative potions. I pray to low might ease the realm walker's pain through if I can get them those curative potions. I have the potions requested. Give him here quickly now. 
These look potent enough. Let's hope the Lao will answer our plea for mercy. Listen well as I call upon the spirits. Legba opened the gates for me to greet Papa Gide and Dr. Ren Mortini. I say your saintly names as here before my eyes sits the issue of your hand. Lao of doctors in the spiritual path lead my hands in this work as I apply the offering. Those drums I hear? Uh, I'll remain silent. Dr. Jen Moriarty speaks in wisdom to my mind. Help me to lead the rhythms of awakening through this ailing soul. Let me touch this realm walker and lift their curse. Bring them back to the waking world. Don't give up yet, my guide. A heartfelt ritual. Did the spirits answer your plea? It can take days, weeks, even years for the spirits to answer. Patience ain't never stopping being a virtue, comrade. With more time, more voodooists, a greater ritual could have been possible, but Papa Yid will choose this Romewalker's path now, and should this fail, well, the blame falls only upon myself and my desire to commune with the low here. With death in, in such abundance recently, we can we can handle any further can we handle any further losses? Uh, what will you do now? Will you stay in the realms? Asking myself the same. On one hand, death is not something we should fear or weep over. How can you stay here after losing one of your guides? Is that what you will tell those who have lost loved ones in these calamities? You're right. We must learn and the less sensitive towards death. Voodoo teaches that death is not the end. On the other hand, I couldn't bear being responsible for more of its spread. It may not be wise to risk disturbing the spirits further. Most worthy ventures come with sacrifice. It would be a waste to quit now. Most worthy ventures come with sacrifice. What would it... Would that... It, would that... Would that it were so simple? It's my belief that the spirits here are angry with us. With Fae who abandoned him. Why did the Fae abandon the realms? Only the spirits know the truth. And if we don't attempt to understand them, we'll never find answers. Never find harmony. Just like the ancestral spirits on Earth, I believe those other realms can offer wisdom beyond our own. It's dangerous to call upon which we do not understand. If proper precautions are cast aside, but I hope I've learned my lesson there. You still believe communing with them is possible? That's the rub I face, isn't it now? Do I owe it to my ailing guys to continue our work, or would that be placing my own intent above the worth of others? Curiosity itself can be a disease in these lands. Seems we're all at a crossroads now. Wisest words you've said yet, as the spirits implied, you are lost and at the personal crossroads to yes. I'll manage on my own for the present. Can I be of any further assistance here? Not at the moment, but I'll oblige my end of our bargain, so I do hope you'll return, if only to check on my affirmed guide there. If their life is saved, I'm sure they'll want to offer their gratitude personally. I've got little to offer, but I insist you take what I managed to put together. Amidst some trinkets, you'll find a realm card. My guides were so proud coming across in a cave a few weeks back. My children was a peppermint treat. Chiji, you for any dangerous realms, I urge you to be on your guard. Some realms are as close as we can come to a waking nightmare. I think I've already been through one of those nightmarish realms. I will save this for later. I know. Uh, okay. Can we move? Oh, look, but I did everything I could. Livia, has something happened? Oh, you came back. Forgive me. I'm a tad out of sorts is all. I suppose my swollen eyes and dry tears are telling enough. Am I to assume the worst? My guide has gone underwater, as we say. Wasn't no peaceful demise either, a wicked night of torment and grief. I condolences, Levine, if I'd come sooner, perhaps. No, my back alone carries burden and blame. We seldom know the will of the spirits. Only our own actions can be subject to scrutiny, like this entire endeavor of mine. Perhaps I wasn't the lost wanderer the spirits mentioned after all. They said you would mend wounds, not save a life or bring back the dead. We simply yet to find the true meaning of our whispered words, their talk of brains and meat. I can tell from your unwavering gaze that you seek something. 
something natural and grander than yourself. What is it? Don't be shy. I'm in search of an elder, Aoten. Hmm, yes, they are among the elder spirits with which I hope to form a connection. My undertaking to pave the path towards coexistence with the realm spirits was meant to culminate in communion with an elder spirit, said to have a direct connection with the Demerge magic, uh, magic of very wellspring. While Carnute might be the obvious choice, man and beast are not known for their accord. Humans and trees, on the other hand, have shared a sacred bond forever, and I expect the Eotins would be more receptive to a petition. Then our goals are the one and the same. Indeed, indeed. It's said that all spirits have desires, just as the Leo do on Earth. Certain good goodies they just can't pass up, regardless of which hands offer is forth. If we can learn that Elder Eotin's hunger for it, doing so would garner their faith. And I say you're one lucky duck because ancient druid tales tell of ageless trees that offer their hearts to men as a symbol of friendship. What could a tree possibly desire? If I had an inkling, I have told you. We can ask for their guidance from a lesser spirit who we already know how to speak with. We only need the right offering. I understand if you're not up for another ritual at the moment. Is this wise why you still grieve? Uh, I let one Realm Walker down. This is for me as much as it for you. A chance to make amends. The Glove are particular in the flavors that are both of and against their own nature. I'll make you a list and upon your return we'll sing with the spirits together. In the meantime, I'll prepare the ritual. Goodbye for now. So we need a Choir Coth, a Choir Cut Amber, Choir Oil? A fin bass. Uh, fin bass, fin bass. I, that's the one thing I haven't seen before. I need meat or seeds. So I wonder if I need a fish for bass. Interesting. Okay, maybe it's not a crafting thing. Maybe it's a glossary thing. Uh, oil doesn't pop anything. Uh, fin. Fin bass. As the realms bound with frosty terrestrial beasts, many cautious settlers rely on fishing to feed their burning communion. Nutrition plentiful fish remains sample. They are only found in the swamp. So, we're going to have to do some fishing here. How do we fish? Okay, that's not on there. Uh, not what I'm looking for. It doesn't look like there's a thing for fishing. I do have a fishing rod, though. I've never fished before in this game, so this will be interesting. Water is not deep enough. Oh, ours is deep enough for there. Well, I'm fishing, guys. This is the first time I've ever fished in this game. It looks like you just keep your camera on the fish and just reel in. Not as complicated of a minigame as, you know, some of the other fishing games that are out there. So that's a fin bass, so I'm gonna have to probably catch like a crap ton of fin basses. Uh I don't know how much That's a red eye bass. Fin bass, there we go. Uh which what did I need to make a fin bass again? 
or oil. So oil is used at a tanning station or a mortar station. So I'll uh, make a cut here and get a bunch of the fish thing, fish components ready, and then uh, we'll be back here after that. All right, we're back. I fished a whole bunch, collected all the resources. You needed uh, 16 fish, two fish per oil. Then I already had amber from a previous mining expedition I went on, and uh, cloth was easy to make. Back again to visit old Ledevine, are ya? I have the offering gifts we need. Come then, we'll present these to the lesser forest spirits in exchange for guidance on your path. Whether surviving or thriving is the Leo's doing, ready comrade? I've collected my wits. Select the items you wish to hand in. Select the items will be removed for your inventory. Uh, the oil pin, the cloth, and the... Uh, why are these separated? Uh, except. Look at Osa's gaze for me once more to greet the spirits of this realm. Let me take these offerings and speak through me so my guy's death be not in vain. Let them reveal that which makes the elder Atten belly moan. Huh, yes. You hear them. The spirits whisper through the trees, knowing what you seek. Another augury, the same edict over and over. Gleaming meat, gleaming meat. What is their meaning? Hmm. I wonder. Ah, oi! The spirits were playing coy as ever. A lost one will mend wounds. Fill their brains with communing meat. These auguries are two sides of the same coin. What meat would a tree want? There are many picky low, but none so much as the elders. They want something one of a kind, yes indeed. Something that bleeds vitality, a hearty ritual meal. It's as if I can see all the ingredients in the dark of my mind. Quickly now, let me write it down in that fancy book of yours. And this recipe is what I need to offer the elder Edden. I'd bet all my years on my mother's grave too. Before you fly off, may I ask one more favor? Would I be a burden to petition you to prepare the offering twice over? One for old Litavine, and one for yourself, of course. It would help my cause more than you know. I've dreamed of something like this ever since I relocated to Nightingale. It would be my pleasure. My thanks is eternal twice over, and my last one? You know where to find me. I've got the others in mind to mind, and so much need to be done if I am to accept appeasing an elder. I'll return with your ritual. That's annoying. Um, craft ritual table meat. Let's go to our guidebook here. Uh, ritual fabled meat. Meat. Fabled meat, gem, gem. Three gems and a fabled. Damn. Need two of them too. Uh, we have the bonfire. Do we have the meat grinder? Uh, I guess we'll have to go. Alright, meat grinder, meat grinder. Uh. Make sure we actually have this unlocked so we can even do this. We do have the meat grinder. Alright, so I will... I have plenty of failed meat actually at base. So let us head back to base. And I'll build us the meat grinder and we should be able to make the uh, ritual meat. Good thing I have been cooking that stuff and just been saving it. I figured I would need it eventually. Ritual meat, ritual meat. Uh, yes, yeah, fabled hide, fabled. Oh, this is all fabled hide, actually. There you go, fabled meat, tier one. 
And then I need to make myself the, uh, the meat grinder. Oh, we need two ingots and a shaft. Rock chest there. I'll just use some of those ingots. Make ourselves a shaft real quick. That's done. Extinguish that fire. Or waste all my wood. They re it really, this game really needs to get an update where it adds a mechanic that when it's not processing something, the fire just automatically turns off. It's a very basic mechanic in, mo in quite a few crafting games. So we have our ritual fable meat. So we need fable meats, which we have that, and then three gems. Oh, they're raw gems too. So we only need six. We'll use the seven amber I have. Well, that's taking two minutes. Let's manage our inventory a little bit. Well, I caught a lot of those fish. Holy crap. Got one. Uh, is my portal still open upstairs? Yeah, portal still open upstairs, so we can go turn that in real quick. Uh, 15 more seconds. I do enjoy that it whistles when you get the bonfire thing, right when the food's about to get done. We got our two rituals, head through the portal, head back to her. And then I'll probably have to make a cut while I hunt down one of the elder trees. Because the only time I've run into one is when I was doing the uh, Find the Lawman quest. Back in to visit old Levine, are you? I have the elder 
skeleton ritual meal. Oh yes, it looks and smells delicious, otherworldly, like a burned fruit. This sacrifice shall make a fine offering. All goes well, it will be the first step towards greater understand to show in the elder spirits we mean to do right with our presence in their domain. Huh, perhaps them mended wounds the low foretold of weren't physical after all. The old and then the elder Elton will accept this offer? If there's truth in the druid tales of old, you'll be holding one of their ripened hearts before you know it. Alright, we completed that quest. So now we just need to find one, which, uh, glossary is where we need to go. And we need to find the, uh, elder... Which they're only found in the forest realms, which I expected. So I'll travel back to our respite. Uh, I'll make a cut here, and then we'll meet back uh, when I run across an overlord, an elder Aotin. Until then. All right. Good news. After about 20 minutes of searching, I finally uh, found an elder Aotin. Which, in order to see these guys, they don't really move around. Is I'll wait for a health bar to pop up, apparently, or uh, use your spyglass. It'll uh, highlight them. They're full-size trees from the looks of it, and I just got to search around to find the altar around him. Here it is. All right, we'll add our offering here. Ritual failed meats. There are a bunch of regular Aotens sitting around, but... Uh, thank you for the heart, sir. I'll take that Elder Aotin wood, too. Alright, Pop. Take a bow, my friend. You hold the last piece of Nelly's puzzle. There's more inside you now. The realms intoxicate your blood. Ah, yes. That same primordial bond with these wilds which called forth the nights of summers gone by. A part of you wishes to stay. Nevertheless, make way for the watch. Hush, do you feel that? Byra's chill curls through the air. The hungry lion will roar. And our walls will behowl the moon. And we both know mankind fares ill in wintertide. Reach Nightingale before her resentful alabaster falls. Even Oberon shan't be able to protect you. All right. Well, we got all three of our components for Nelly Bly. Which is good. Uh, journal. Yep, we got the Sun Giant's prize. We got the Automaton's oil. And we got the uh, Elder Terran's heart. So let's head back to our respite. I'll throw all that stuff in my inventory. But yeah, it just. You just. In order to get an Elder Eaton heart. Uh. Elton thing, you have to go to a forest hunt region, which it's, it tells you to do that in your journal to find them. And then you just got to keep searching around with that spyglass is what I find most helpful until the Elder Aeton heart uh, Elder Aeton thing pops up and then you just offer it the fabled meat. Don't give it to the little ones because that won't count. But yeah. Uh, that's it for this quest line. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a bit complicated. A lot more stuff. I had a fish for the first time. But, uh, anyway, next time we shall go to Nelly Bly, give her the three resources, and then see what happens from there out. Maybe we go to the, march, the watch, maybe we go to Nightingale, maybe we just, something unexpected happens. But anyway, thanks for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe. And until next time, well, later everybody.